everybody. My name is Charlie and I'll be reviewing the MicroAir L15. This is the um, best smartwatch in the market that has an LED uh, flashlight. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, check the unboxing real quick here. So very simple. And yes, this is the watch. To, um, check let's see other components here in the box so we have a, a magnetic charger here um, this looks sturdy and long enough not too long not too short so yeah that's perfect so aside from that um, we also have a manual here uh, which is I believe in Chinese as well as in English um, yeah this is the English part here so yeah let's go ahead and check the actual watch shall we okay so looking at the watch um, at the back you'll see it is all made out of plastic uh, unfortunately, however, it does have an interesting um, carbon fiber finish to it, so it looks great. And you also have the um, heart rate sensor here, and the two pins for the charger. And um, the strap is not really silicon, it's more like a TPU strap, as it's um, kind of hard um, compared to a silicon strap. And it's also replaceable, so you can definitely replace this. Uh, it's a 22 millimeter um, strap, so you can definitely customize this wash as you please. And um, on the sides, you'll see that there is a dedicated LED uh, flashlight. And uh, this is the button for the flashlight, so it's separate from the watch. Uh, it does not do anything. Um, on the actual software itself uh, and this is the um, home button as well as the power button for the watch so let's go ahead and turn this on so yeah um, this is the actual smartwatch so um, right off the bat you'll see that it has a good um, watch face Let's go ahead and check the other uh, watch face here. So we have um, three built-in and one customizable on the app. So this is the first us. Uh, sorry, let me. And this is the most annoying thing about this watch is you don't um, have the option to control the uh, screen timeout. So it's only six seconds. So this is the first um, watch face right here. So you'll see these steps. And you'll see the uh, day of the month, which is 27, and uh, the ca calories you burn. So I've already um, used this to um, check the steps. It's fairly accurate. And um, the next um, watch face you'll see here um, is an animated watch face. It does not display anything or any other information. Let's go ahead and change that again. And this is the um, third built-in watch face. As you can see, this has a lot of information built in. So as you can see, um, it's October 27, and uh, you'll see the green um, indicator there um, above Tuesday, So, which means it's Tuesday today. You'll also see the time, the seconds, the AM or PM, and an animated uh, signal of some sort does not really um, indicate anything on the watch. You also see the uh, energy or the battery level and you'll see the pedometer or the steps versus the 5000 set on the app. I already set this, up, this one up on the app so I've um, so as you can see here there's a meter if you have already accomplished that 5000. Actually it's not 5000 I think it's 10,000 sorry. So yeah, um, and we also have the kilometers, which is based only on the pedometer, so it does not have any built-in uh, um, GPS. You also see the um, heart rate here. And lastly, the last um, watch face is the customizable one. So this is the, the best for me. 
So in terms of navigation, um, swiping down, you'll see the um, control center where you can adjust the brightness which has uh, five levels of brightness. So this is the lowest, uh, second level, third level, um, fourth level, and the fifth level which is the brightest. So I've already tested this in um, broad daylight and it's basically um, fine so you can definitely see uh, the time even if um, you're on direct sunlight so you also see the battery indicator here which is full charge right now uh, find phone the information about the watch and the QR code so um, swiping up from the um, home you'll see the um, notification center um, right now it does not have any notification so I'll go ahead and show that to you later and uh, swiping um, left to right you'll see the features um, again it's uh, the find phone uh, stopwatch and the stopwatch you can go ahead and um, do multiple laps right here then once you're finished you can click this you'll see the laps that you made so on the digital or sorry the analog um, graphics here does not do anything really so I'm not sure why they added that but still um, all you have to focus on is the digital one so we also have the timer here so let's go ahead and try to start two seconds timer all right so it vibrates once it's done the uh, vibration is not that great uh, compared to the other watches I've tried, which is the W46, um, that thing has um, better vibration feedback. So moving on, uh, QR code again um, about restore factory um, settings and shut down. I'm sorry, and then language. So this has a lot of language built in as well. And that's pretty much it for the functions. Let's move on to the uh, fitness um, screen. So swiping um, right to left, you'll see the pedometer here. Um, and um, swiping again, you'll see the sleep monitoring. I, have, uh, I haven't really tested this for sleeping, so that's why it does not have any data. Uh, we also see uh, the heart rate monitor. So and the exercises built in exercise we have running we have walking cycling climbing ping pong badminton basketball skipping we also have swimming it's great and yoga all right so moving on to the next screen you'll see the um media control or the bluetooth music controller so you can only do pause play uh, next and previous this does not do anything for some reason so it's just there and uh, the next screen is the weather uh, but in my opinion this is not accurate so on my area it's actually rainy here we are signal number two not sure why this is so sunny um, so yeah so for the notification of this watch so here's what it looks like um, I already texted myself and this is what um, it looks like so uh, you can only go ahead and um, click it to delete it uh, you can't do anything um, once you clicked it out so it will automatically clear so let me show you what I mean so if you go to the notification center if you click it you can only see the next line and it's actually incomplete the, uh, it does not display the full message and um, if you click it again or if you tap it again um, it will be cleared so all right so that's pretty much it for the features and function of this watch um, so I'm sure you'll you're all waiting for this uh, which is the um, test for the built-in LED flashlight so let's go ahead and try this baby out shall we so um, let's go ahead and turn off the lights here all right so it's kind of dark right now so if you click the button um, it's actually fairly bright so when you need to let's say um, pick your keys on the dark so you can definitely use this as your 
um, flashlight. So let's go ahead and show you the actual here. So it kind of um, spread out so you basically wouldn't use this to um, say for um, more distant objects so you can only use this um, in uh, some near scenarios so yeah uh, this is definitely a good watch with the built-in flashlight so that's it thank you guys for watching and I hope you all have a great day